Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. When you hear the word pregnancy, you think of this beautiful time in a woman's life where she's creating life. Your first trimester can be portrayed as the beautiful time where you're glowing and just taking in all of that pregnancy glow that so many people talk about. That's not the reality for a lot of us. This is our reality. Hungover, garbage can, or jetting off to make it to the bathroom in time to throw up. The mental and physical exhaustion this has over us is never really captured. Well, here's a glimpse at what some of our realities look like. Social media, the internet, can just sometimes be a cruel world. The picture perfect, video perfect things are not everyone's actual life. It can be hard to not compare yourself and wonder and go off on a tangent about how, why is this happening to you and why is this person's pregnancy so wonderful and yours isn't. Social media is a lie, okay? The internet sometimes can be a lie. This is normal. This is pregnancy with hyperemesis, gravidarum. This is pregnancy with your first three months of nausea and vomiting, even if you're not diagnosed with hyperemesis. This is pregnancy. It's all pregnancy. And sure, those people who have a wonderful first trimester, it can look like that. But here's the thing. Most people don't want to show you this side. Most people probably don't want to watch this side. And that's okay too. I know for me, when I'm going through the rough times, I want to find someone I can watch and relate to. And this is why I ultimately decided to share this journey. I hope that one day we can just all normalize this as just being pregnancy and that we can just all come together and just support each other because again everyone's pregnancy does look different it's not always cupcakes and flowers and that's just the reality of it well here's to baby number seven hey guys so I look better than how I feel I've been contemplating on whether or not I wanted to share this journey this time around, um, not because of um, because of you know just not. I don't know I guess just because this wasn't like planned and just um, obviously if you're clicking on this video you know that I am currently pregnant I found out the day after or no the day before my grandma left and let me just tell you like a week later all hell broke loose with the whole nausea and the vomiting i was just like do i want to document this do i want to do um monthly updates trimester updates like do i want to do this i didn't document me taking a pregnancy test finding out that i was pregnant and all of that um i just had no desire to i quickly realized you know with my miscarriage last year i went a pretty good amount of time thinking do I want another baby do I not want another baby what are these feelings that I'm feeling and I came to the realization that I don't think it was that I wanted another baby I think I was trying to fill or I was thinking that I wanted like oh wait I think I might want another baby because I wanted to fill that void and fill up from that guilt that I felt from that miscarriage and at that very moment is when I knew like yeah I do not want to go through this again like this is not um this is just not what I want 
I had a lot of thoughts on what I wanted to do, especially again after going through um, what I was going through, knowing what hyperemesis was going to do to me and not just, you know, just not wanting to go through another pregnancy like the twin pregnancy. Um, and on top of that, I had my grandmother who was very ill. She got sick while she was here, just like a really bad cough. Well, she got sick um, last year, January, she was supposed to come here. She ended up getting the flu, which turned into pneumonia, and it was not looking good for her at all. She ended up in the hospital for over a month, and then she had to go to um, a nursing home for rehab and just learning basic skills all over again. That's how bad it was. And so when she went back to New York when she was visiting, um, some days later, she had to be rushed to the hospital again. <sighs> And so the way that my mind is set up and the way that my mind works, I started just thinking about it because I did make an appointment with Planned Parenthood. Felt like I couldn't physically go through another pregnancy like the last. So I ended up making an appointment. And two days before my appointment, I got the phone call that my grandma was rushed to the hospital. My mind was just all over the place and I started thinking like, wait a minute, the dates that I got pregnant are not really adding up. Like, so how did this happen? Like, you know, as I said before, everything happens for a reason, right? For those of you that don't know, my grandmother raised me for half of my life. So she is like very dear and near. Like I love my grandma. That's <sighs> yeah. Um, yeah so uh for a part of my life my grandmother and my aunt raised me so um i was just thinking like you know what if this happened because it's to take my mind off of something that's going to happen potentially in the future um like god forbid anything were to happen to my grandma what what if this was given to me to replace that i ended up canceling my appointment with planned parenthood and here i am um going through the motions i'm definitely in survival mode at this time it is so much harder <laughs> this time around i don't know how much of this I'm going to record like I'm not doing weekly updates I plan on well I have already actually just set the camera up here and just had it recording um, while I'm in bed because that's usually where I'm, I'm either here or on the couch um, I have to take what I can get for these last couple of I don't know weeks months month um, because it's almost summer break and Ariana will be going to Massachusetts so things are gonna get real hectic really quick another day back on my floor um, how many weeks am I I think the first time I recorded I was like five weeks I'm now eight weeks Today's Monday, I'll be nine weeks on Thursday. So if you do the math, I can't really um, do anything right now. But um, I went to the hospital today. Uh, not today, yeah, what am I talking about? Yesterday, I went to my OB today. They um, made me a follow-up appointment. Um, the hospital that I went to, the new OB is affiliated with that hospital, so once they discharged me, well, while they were discharging me, they scheduled me a follow-up appointment. Um, all is well with the baby. It was just the vomiting. I can no longer keep any type of liquids down. Um, and I was just, like, I threw up a lot yesterday. Like, 
a lot it was it was crazy how much I threw up yesterday I'm just so thirsty <laughs> I am so thirsty and I'm so tired um, but baby as well um, they actually gave me a sonogram in the hospital um, and I'm measuring a week and like three days ahead sometimes they'll change your due date sometimes they won't um, but that could you know also alter you know your conception date and all that so if that's the case I think next week right when I go for my appointment um and that'll technically be like my real first appointment because this was just an er follow-up um they're gonna do a sonogram so i'll have actual pictures then of the baby and all that and also in the hospital they did confirm that there was one child one baby so there's one i'm not pregnant with with twins Thank the lord because the way that my belly is set up right now i'm like what the fuck but that just goes to show like it's definitely more than likely because of the diastasis recti me measuring a week ahead would make sense as to why i'm pregnant because that was the week because that's like in the app that's like the go week like you're safe um but that's the week that it's like you're less likely to get pregnant. So those are always like our go <laughs> days. And funny enough, um, it's looking like maybe that's possibly when I conceived because it couldn't have been the following week because <laughs> we were not doing any of that. I'm losing more weight now than I was while, when I was working out. So I'm just like you know what whatever I just took the medication I mean it's not working but like I guess instead of throwing up 15 times a day it's 14 times so I mean I guess it's working <laughs> it's, it's not working <laughs> she told me that I can discuss other options different medications um right now i'm taking the unisum and the b6 at night i'm definitely getting sleepy because that's all that really does for me is just puts me to sleep um it doesn't i mean i guess if you're sleeping you're not throwing up so that's how they say that it works but in actuality like i don't know that <laughs> just i don't know and I find myself like counting down the hours till bedtime so that I can take that and just be sleeping so that I'm not throwing up or dry heaving because I did a lot of dry heaving today because I cannot keep anything down so there's literally nothing for me to throw up so it's like bile every other time and it's just it's exhausting I've been having like leg cramps already um like restless leg syndrome i don't ever remember it ever being this early before and also i don't know if i said this before but my boobs they are getting so big <laughs> they are getting so big already and they are so tender um like i can't do clothes no bras hardly ever unless I have to step out and like my nipples just hurt so bad I feel like they're full of milk like that's how heavy they feel it's so strange um but they're just getting bigger by the day that's all I got for you now um we'll see what happens I freaking need a blanket because I'm like super cold but um hey today is what is today june 13th um i am nine weeks five days today i had my appointment today i was feeling pretty good up until like 30 minutes ago um, i don't know if it's because i took my medicine already 
or what the hell's going on i don't i don't know but i'm like very queasy so if i get up and have to run to the bathroom just pray that i make it because i don't have a garbage next to me i only threw up like this morning i was like mostly dry heaving 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 dry you know when there's nothing in your stomach so i only i threw up then and i threw up after i ate like some toast like around 12 i believe um it was before i went to my appointment but um i wasn't feeling nauseous just this morning but when i threw up after the bread um i wasn't feeling nauseous at all so i don't know what that was about i mean i know what it was about but my shoulders are so cold uh she was the nurse practitioner so she said she didn't have hold on guys because you don't even understand my back is cold like i'm pretty much on the verge of like shaking that's how cold i am okay um anyway she she's a nurse practitioner and she said that she didn't have the authority to like put me on the pump so she spoke to another doctor and the doctor said that i have to exhaust all my options before they can put me on the pump which i feel like i've already exhausted all my options um so they gave me so how much is this eight milligrams so they gave me 10 milligrams of the uh, zofran but when i was discharged from the hospital the er doctor that was helping me she also had um hyperemesis so she was great she was so attentive she checked up on me i can't even tell you how many times um because i was there for like three to four hours um i was dehydrated so i did have to get um i got like a bag and a half of fluids uh once i started peeing she they they stopped the fluids which was half of the second bag one doctor had prescribed the eight milligrams of the zofran and she's just when she saw that she was like okay take that um use that as backup if you run out but i'm gonna give you 12 milligrams because the eight is not gonna do anything for you so technically i've exhausted all of my like everything that i could be on that should work is not working so i don't know i don't know what they want but um they did that and then they also prescribed uh, more of the diclegis they were telling me they wanted me to take the i think it was the metal carpamide to help with the acid but that doesn't really do anything like i'm better off just chewing on a tums although the tums make me nauseous so They put me back on that and by the time my next appointment comes if, if it is not like better by then um, I'm I'm gonna demand them to give me a damn pump or I'm gonna call my insurance myself because I actually when I got it with the twins I was working with like a nurse coordinator from the insurance who just was just like okay well enough is enough things are not working for you let's i'm gonna put this through i'm gonna send it to the doctor and that's how i got the pump it wasn't even through the doctor it didn't prescribe it it was the nurse through the insurance so i guess i'll do that again i have been i don't know if i said this last time but i've been getting really bad leg cramps and like the magnesium that i have it's this mag ox 400 milligrams oh it's actually 483 milligrams they're just it's not really working like i remember the magnesium that i was taking with the boys that that stuff worked well this is what it looks like but like it's not i feel like it's not doing what it's supposed to do i think that is everything that was discussed and I'll 
current symptoms. Did I say I was nine weeks and five days? So I'll be 10 weeks and two days. Um, hmm. So yeah, let me take this off and show you guys. <laughs> Try not to lift up my arms because I still have shaved. Uh, anyway, let's show some pics of the baby. There's the little nugget floating around in there all by his lonesome or her. There's little baby. And then you can see my umbilical cord there. Head, hands, feet. See, just looks like a glove. That's a little nugget floating around in there and making me sick. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So today is June 28th. It's been about two weeks since my last update. So I'll actually be 12 weeks tomorrow um i had an appointment today first of all i had a great day um i've only thrown up like a handful of times today which again we have hg my cat um when you have hg a handful of times is nothing compared to the amount of times that when it's bad it's it's bad so win for me once again um i'm hoping because i'm almost in my second trimester i don't know if it's considered 12 weeks or 13 weeks when you're actually officially in your second trimester but um yeah uh so they told me so they called me um, after my last appointment, like the next day they called me and told me that they forgot to schedule me for a two week follow up. They just said it was just common procedure. I think it's because of my age. So that's what today's appointment was. They did give me another sonogram, which again, I'm like, why am I getting another sonogram? I mean, I'm like not complaining, but also at the same time, like, is there something wrong? Um, which the OB that I saw today, she said there was nothing wrong. Um, it was the same that nurse practitioner that I seen last week. The only issue that I've been having since this pregnancy is like issues with constipation. Um, I know TMI, but um, I know that I'm not eating enough to maybe have a bowel movement every day, but it also shouldn't be like every two weeks that I'm having a bowel movement. Because she's referring me to a gastro, is it? I think it's a gastro doctor. She referred me to a gastro doctor today. Um, and that appointment is coming up, I believe. I don't know. Some I forget. <laughs> it's too many dates. She said that they'll probably just do some blood work. And then also he'll probably want to get like an image of my insides just to make sure that there's nothing else going on because it shouldn't be oh and i guess since i'm sharing all the tmi um what triggered me to even tell them about the constipation is because i had a bowel movement this morning actually and you know it was there for a while like a long while and eventually after I was done, I wiped, and there was nothing but bright red blood. Um, and I was like, oh my god, like I've never seen that much blood come from that area. And now, yes, I'm constipated and it's harder to pass, have a bowel movement. So I've always had inconsistent bowel movements my whole life. Like that's always, that's never been not normal for me. And the thing is, is when I tell the doctors this, 
like it's, it has never been like two weeks that I've gone without bowel movements but I definitely don't go every day maybe once a week maybe twice if I'm lucky that's just normal but when the doctors whenever I had like follow-ups and you know doctors appointments physicals and they asked me about that it was always like oh okay well that's is that normal for you and I'm like yeah that's how it's always been it was okay and so they always say like oh, okay that's not normal but it's normal for you so and they've never excuse my cat they've never like and I've been to hospitals where they've asked me this because I've I've had syncope issues in the in the past um that's just like fainting spells so I've been asked these questions and no one has ever been like oh alarmed where they're sending me to like a gastro because I'm not new to this I know that sometimes if I strain sometimes you'll get what's called anal fissures which is just little cuts you know from the stretching um and you can honestly feel when that happens I mean it burns like fuck like it's a cut in your butthole so you can feel that and it's not pleasant so I knew that I didn't have any of that 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 didn't go down when I saw all that blood so um, I took a picture of the of the napkin and I showed the OB and she was just like yeah this is not normal whatsoever like she was going to send me to the hospital but because it was just that one time and then I wiped and like none of the other wipes that happened she didn't send me to the ER but yeah and I mean I feel fine I mean I feel like I've been feeling this whole past three months uh, finding out or however many months two months I almost three months right because you're told me like that's three months right um but I don't know I, I don't know there there that's just been the only thing besides the HG that was like the thing that popped up today baby's heartbeat was great baby looked good baby is still measuring a week ahead still um she said she wasn't going to change my due date or anything and she didn't believe that the other ob's would want to change excuse me my due date i i just find it so crazy that you know even with the twins even with the leah and now this baby like i have this hg and i'm losing weight but the babies are flourishing i mean like they are ahead of the game you know and it's so crazy because it's like like no I'm not getting that much nutrients in and that much stuff in but so like how is this happening but like you know I'm blessed I'm not gonna complain about it I, f I was feeling pretty okay yesterday um I just was feeling nauseous all day uh, like so in between time like right now I don't feel nauseous yesterday it was like in between like me throwing up again a handful of times I was still feeling nauseous throughout the day so I don't know I don't know you know that's just like a side effect I, I I know but that doesn't happen to me often so if I'm nauseous I'm usually just nauseous all day and I'm just throwing up all day um, if I'm having a good day it's usually I'm throwing up a handful of times and I'm feeling good throughout um, you know the rest of the day besides me throwing up uh, as you can well I don't know if you guys <laughs> notice but I was able to wash my hair this morning and style it although it looks like shit right now but like that that's a really good day I felt good they already have me set up for my 20 week appointment which I think I won't be technically 20 weeks the um, ultrasound the uh, detailed ultrasound and that one um, I have to go to like a special ultrasound is still in the same building as my OB but she it's because of my age should I find out the, the gender of the baby should I not find out the gender of the baby I kind of want to but then I kind of don't but I kind of do so I don't know I made a Amazon baby registry because something came up in my app um, talking about the welcome package and I knew I with the twins I got like a really nice welcome package so I was like, oh, definitely want to do that again. And then that's just also very um, 
handy to have like for family especially for me because I my family his family they're all out of state so they can just buy something off the registry which our families don't normally do but they did last time with the twins um it's just helpful that it just, they just go on Amazon and, and click it buy it and it comes straight to us like I just think that's genius so I did make one of those I mean there's a bunch of shut in there that I have to go back and like take off but I was just adding all the necessities that I needed to add to get the welcome box because you have to have it like 60% filled out but I'm like still in my first trimester so it's like sorry guys I'm getting cold but um I'm still in my first trimester so it's kind of like well I don't really like I don't I'm not really set on what stuff that I actually want just yet so I did that this time around I definitely got rid of a lot of stuff like I got rid of everything because I thought that that was it I found a box of the boys like old shoes like baby shoes and some stuff that I guess I put to the side that I wasn't ready to give away but the majority of their stuff I gave away so I don't even have like boys newborn clothes and stuff like that like I have their going home outfits and I have a couple of things but I don't have a lot um, and that's if this baby is a boy so I know I have girl clothes in the garage that I was supposed to sell to once upon a child and again that was like a whole thing so most of that didn't get sold so when the time comes like I said when when I'm in my 20 weeks like 25 you know 30 weeks I'll get that stuff up here and just put to the side if I don't end up finding out what the gender is I don't think that I'm going to but I kind of want to so yeah let me show you the pictures of the baby the baby looks so big and I think it's just because the these pictures are a lot better than the last pictures like they're the, it's like drawn up oh and the baby was like kept putting the arm up like it was waving high so here's the one where we're like, oh, is the baby waving? I'm trying to get as close so you guys can see the arm up. She wrote hi on there. Um, this is like profile, side profile view. The baby gives me like Elena vibes when I look at this side profile. Um, but you know who knows <laughs> it's still pretty early here's the last two that you can actually see so we've got baby's head the body laying this way see the legs up the baby looks long as fuck <laughs> but I mean what's to not to like that's to be expected I guess with my babies Here's the last one. Hey guys, so, I don't know what day it is. My phone is somewhere over there, not getting up to get it, but I do know it is Thursday and I am officially 14 weeks. I made it to my second trimester. Thank the Lord. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to touch base obviously on this week because this is just um, like a first trimester recap I think is what I'm going to be calling this. But um, I think the last time I was like 11 weeks or about to be 12 weeks. So the past two weeks I feel like I've had good days and then I've gone back to bad days, good days, bad days. like every other day is different i would say this past week uh like at 13 weeks i have more good days than bad days so i'm hoping that that means that i'm gonna be able to you know stop using the medication um because i'm still taking the diclegis is the main medication um to help with the or maybe it's the diclegis and the Zofran in conjunction with each other. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. I didn't really have anything major 
happened in the past two weeks or anything like out of the ordinary like i said i've just had good days i've had bad days the past week i had more good days than bad days so that's always good i'm just thankful that i made it this far um yeah hyperemesis is is no joke no joke <sighs> what a ride this first trimester was what a ride i can tell you right now that pregnancy after the age of 35 is no joke okay i compare it to my twin pregnancy which was rough on my body and let me just tell you right now they are going neck to neck and that's crazy because i'm only carrying one baby this time so that should tell you a lot um i wouldn't consider myself like a sissy <laughs> um i feel like i'm very strong and this is just maybe it's just maybe it's because i had the twins and you know my body didn't properly heal and this is actually well besides my first and second which was seven and a half which my first and second are seven and a half years apart this is the longest um like for like the kids are three years apart my the twins and then this baby will be three years apart so that's the longest that I've lasted um so I, I don't know I don't know what to tell you I'm just from my experience and I finally understand the whole yeah have your babies before 35 yeah have your babies before 35 and there are plenty of people who have babies after me um after 35 and they have fine pregnancies and I mean maybe they go through the same stuff that I'm going through but because I have something to compare it to it's just like this is no joke whereas you know someone who's having their first at 40 you know they might think like oh this is just normal pregnancy and maybe for them it would have been but maybe if they had kids earlier it wouldn't have been like that you know who knows nobody knows but I just know yeah my friend asks me about that second and she's my age and i'm like yeah no i think you go with the one you go with the one you do what you want to do but i'm gonna just tell you right now like it's no joke and you didn't enjoy pregnancy with that one and you were definitely not gonna enjoy it with this like having a second at our at our age it's just complete it's just oh, maybe it's because i have the twins and i have to watch them and i don't have family and no one can help me and babe sleeps and then he's up and then he goes to work at night like who knows there's so much that can play a part in this and i can just be being dramatic who knows i'm just letting you know how i feel right now and after i have this baby i probably i'll tell you the same thing like I'm, no don't do it <laughs> if you really want to but if you're asking my opinion don't do it um anyway thanks for sticking it out with me i know this is probably going to be a super long video um but it's my first trimester and i'm going through this again and i'm trying to show you the ugly side of pregnancy it's not all pregnancy glow and all that um this past two weeks my skin has been doing like some really crazy things like my skin was like super dry where it was peeling and now it's super oily so i don't know what's going on with my skin but uh yeah there's that but um anyway before i go off and start rambling and rambling and rambling thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking by me these past 13 weeks um they have been hard that we made it and if you're in my boat you're doing great you're gonna make it and you know once you hold that baby it's not so much that you want to do it all over again but you know push comes to shove and you really had to do it all over again like you absolutely had to do it all over again I'm sure you would <laughs> so just stick it just hang in there and um, you got this we got this 
January is right around the corner. Um, yeah. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.